Okay, welcome back. Now to um, do a quick recap on where we're at the previous part. We created a bootable USB using Grub. Grub allows much more flexibility into um, items on the menu that you, you want to install. can be Linux, can be Windows, and it can be wiping software. Uh, prior to that, on, on um, part 6, we created a pure Windows USB, bootable USB, that is only able, able to install uh, Windows, the, the golden images that we created in part 1. So, uh, why would you want to have a more flexible one? Well, it, um, it does allow you to do everything on one USB, but the downside of it is that uh, a lot of early revisions of BIOSes uh, will probably only work on Windows, because that's the only thing they tested and as soon as it worked on Windows it was sort of good to go. Um, so I've come across a number of uh, machines where the um, where Grub doesn't work so well until you update the um, the firmware, update the BIOS. Um, one machine it went from version 5 to version 51 before it worked properly. Um, so that's why you might want to have two of them. But Grub, if it does work, is um, it's much more useful. So, uh, in order to get into the Windows PE environment, we're going to use this um, NT Loader uh, open source software. Um, and we're going to use it with Grub, which is this one, and put in a men menu entry like that. Um, and notice it uh, separates between UFI and everything else, which is legacy BIOS. Um, we're going to have to modify this. Uh, I want to put NT Loader in its own directory and the path to WinPE, which in our case is BootPE, um, is different. So here's the Grub configuration that we had before. And we're going to stick in the NT Loader for Windows. So there's, there's the directory with NT Loader in it. And there's the directory with boot.wim that we created in the previous part, um, which is going to start the, ins the, the Windows um, PE install menu. So we just save that and copy it. Copy it. Onto the ISO. Okay, now we're also going to need NT Loader. Now, NT Loader was a, a zip file, so I unzipped it into here. It contains the two files. So, we're going to copy that. We're going to copy um, WinRE, which has the boot.wim that we uh, created earlier. And we're going to copy menu. Um, menu you've, you've seen before, but I'm going to put it in the comments again just so that. Um, um, you can find it easily. So that one, that one, and that one. Copy. And we're going to stick it into... Stick it onto the bootable menu. Now there are alternatives to NT Loader. And you can see in this, um, I've, got, I've got one called Wimboot. Wimboot doesn't work so well with a, um, a, a USB and it only works in uh, legacy. Well, it, it does work in um, UFI, but you need to be using um, something other than Grub to do it. Uh, it also has a, a, a fault, which um, I can demonstrate, I might demonstrate in the next part, where the size of boot.wim is, well, it's not as big as the boot.wim that I created, um, it's probably 512 megabytes, which is big enough for most boot.wim, but not in our case. NT Loader doesn't have that uh, restriction. So the next thing in order to be able to install these um, um, master copies, we uh, need to put them in sources. So I did it earlier because it does take quite a long time. But in here is the install for Windows 10, the uh, golden image. So, it's now good to go, and 
I'll uh, plug it into the test machine and um, boot it up and show you it working. So here's the test machine and we're going to boot it into Legacy. There's the Grub menu and notice we now have the NT Loader Installers menu entry which we will execute. Here it goes loading files. I will pause it there. Okay, so it's now starting uh, Windows PE and uh, doing the PE initialize. And you'll see the DOS Windows um, flash. And now it's uh, searching the USB for the sources directory. There we are, and there's the menu. So um, the only one that actually works is, is two. Um, but uh, I won't. I won't show you that. I'll just show you the uh, the Eufy load. Right. So I've rebooted it, and now we're going to do the Eufy boot. And there you get the same menu. Uh, NT loader installs is the one that we want. And now it's loading file. I have to say that um, Eufy is a lot faster to load the files. Um, now it's starting uh, WinPE. And there's our startnet.cmd, which uh, is in a previous video. And this will now fire up the menu, and I say the only one that works is two, so there's setup starting. Right, now the next thing to do is to um, embellish the grub menu, which is a bit bleak, so um, um, I'll show you how to do that next.